I'm so excited. I finally got my dream fine jewelry wishlist item and I'm so excited to unbox and to share with you everything about it. Hey guys, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. I'm gonna unbox everything first so you can see what they are. And then the second portion will be the reviews of the items. Of course, the main event is my Tiffany, yay! Personally speaking, when I was doing my research, there was not a lot out there. In fact, there was like almost nothing out there. So I think this will be super helpful. So it came in this box and it was beautifully wrapped in this gorgeous blue box. This is my first ever Tiffany fine jewelry. I have bought some silvers in the past, but this is a whole other level. I think my most expensive luxury fine jewelry that I have ever treated myself to. A little button right here to reveal. This is a the Tiffany Lock bracelet in the half pavé version. Mine is in white gold, extra small size, which will be a good review for those of you who also have very tiny wrists like me. And I will be doing my first impression review, the comparison also stacked with my love bracelet. We'll talk about the price, the sizing, the fit, design features, a comparison, and of course, a bunch of mod shots. Here's a close up overview. I got mine all in white gold. I was definitely um in and eyeing between uh, the uh, rose gold or the white gold. Uh, in fact, at first I wasn't even considering the half pavé, but in the end I just decided to just go for it because I might as well. I'm already spending so much money. I will be explaining the whole uh, thought process behind it and Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. My two wrists are slightly different sizing. This one is about 13 centimeter or 13.3 on like a very hot day, like in the summer. And then this wrist is about, I think it was, I think I measured 12.5. I can't remember now. I'm right-handed, which is why this wrist is slightly more muscular. Um, in any case, I only fit the smallest size bracelet uh, and I will talk about the other sizing as well because I have tried the small and the medium. Of course, the medium was floating on my arm, um, but between the extra small and the small, there was still quite a significant difference for my size wrist, of course. Anyway, let me open it, twist it like this. I'm going to try to <laughs> do it on camera so you can see it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I did get this bracelet. Well, technically I did buy it in December, but I only received the bracelet in January and it was around Chinese New Year. And shout out to my amazing essay. So I went to the Burrard Tiffany store. So that's like the main big store. As for Curtis Zhang, very professional, very nice. And anyway, so this is part of the gift that I got. It says Man Si Gai Ho Ke Fun Yu Che Sing Yi. Man Si Gai Ho Ke means every, I guess, new endeavor to go well, so to have luck. Fun as in Fun He, Yu as in Yu Fai, so it's kind of like saying basically very happy. Over here we have, um, okay, we have the May Your New Year Unlock, pun intended, prosperity, love, health, and wealth. From my essay, and in here, Tiffany's version of the red envelope, a total of eight of them. And these envelopes, you use it to put money inside and then you typically give it to unmarried children. So if you're married, you typically don't receive red envelopes anymore. You're the ones to give out red envelopes. This side, there's also a little surprise as well. Oh, it came off. It has two cute little bunnies on there. Okay, up next, we have a quick unboxing from Hermes. One of my wishlist item as well. I'm always on the lookout for extra, I mean, you can probably tell what it is, right? Extra watch straps. I love changing them up. I got this one, which is in rouge ash in swift leather, but there's a print on it and it is the circuit print or the Shandong. The reason why I went for this is because I have two other ones that are double tours that goes around my wrist two times. And those are great. Those are actually my favorite and I wear them a lot, but if I'm in a rush, I can't get those on quickly. So I wanted something that I can wear on the daily, dressier, but I can wear it on in a rush. Like I can just 
fly out the door and just put it on. That's why I went with the single loop this time. I'll link the video to my Apple Hermes watch. The thing with the double tour is that if you have wrists larger than 16 centimeter, then the double tour won't work for you. They are made for smaller wrists. So if you have a larger wrist, go with a single tour, which is why for this one, I had to punch two extra holes. And these two are the extra ones. There we have it. That's my new watch band. The band will end right here. So it's not so awkward. I mean, there is a bit of extra. And then because it's tapered, you can't move this little slider any more than it is but at the very least the watch doesn't rotate if you have a wrist like mine you can punch up to two holes maximum you can't punch more than that if you punch three it will be too much and it will start to uh, dig in into the leather where the buckle is and then you will have a lot of extra on this side but otherwise this is how it looks like and look how good it is with my bracelet too oh my goodness i love it the last unboxing is from ideal this portion of the video is kindly sponsored by ideal and i'm so excited that they sent me these pieces i've been eyeing them for a long time and i know that you guys will love it too because they're doing their valentine's day promotion they're also including extra gifts so this time i also got this jewelry case this is a brand new product. They didn't have that before. So you can put all your jewelry in there when you're traveling. So I have a new pendant and a pair of new earrings to show you. But before I even show you that, just wanted to show you I'm always wearing their jewelry. I'm sure you see on my videos all the time. They're literally my favorite everyday diamond jewelry. Today I'm wearing their stud earrings in the medium size with the Emma add-on. The Lena is always on my neck. This one is in rose gold. The Solo 3 little pendant. If you have to get one piece, get the Lena necklace. I love this one on the shorter side. On the bottom, which is always the white gold one, I like mixing and matching. I always wear it on the longest setting. So with this one, I'm gonna be switching up with the Solo 3 and I cannot wait. I've been eyeing this one for so long because I mean, how could you not be salivating at this? This is their beautiful Grace Pendant in the emerald cut as well. I'm just loving emerald cuts lately, especially with button-up shirts. They are so pretty when they're just like kind of peeking out of your neck. They now have a f Solo 5 version. This is the Solo 3. Look at how sparkly this is. It's out of this world. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I'm not afraid to mix and match my medals. I'm either always wearing studs or very long earrings. I don't like anything kind of in between. It really does complement my long neck and oval face. I love Ideal Jewelry because they are modular by design, so you can build your collection over time. Start off with your base, which is the studs. They have three different sizes. I recommend the medium or the large. I find that with the larger studs, it goes so, so well with the dangling earrings, whereas I like the small or the medium for the studded designs. Here's the close up i have the large stud with the joan add-on this side it's the same thing except i also included the ray add-on i already had that from previously so the little ray add-on is this little ray of beautiful diamonds which is why i love their earrings so much because they're so playful you can really customize it to the max ideal jewelry has such great value too because they are made of traceable 18 karat gold lab grown diamonds are real diamonds but they are just more sustainable and also you get the best quality all of their diamonds are d to g color very small inclusions and excellent cut so you're getting great quality material at a very fair price they also include customs and duties free shipping and returns. I would not otherwise recommend them so much because I personally love them and I do wear them all the time, literally 24 seven. Anyway, I'll have everything linked down below. Let me know if you're eyeing something as well. And of course, thank you so much for supporting my sponsors because by supporting them, you are also supporting me. So thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about the Tiffany lock bracelet. There's a lot to talk about and I think this will be super, super helpful if you're eyeing it and you're just on the 
fans because it is very pricey. On the Tiffany site, it says that the lock bracelet is a unisex design that features an innovative clasp that echoes the functionality of a padlock, which is part of the history in their archive. And it also symbolizes connection and togetherness. The range is quite big. You have the plain lock, so just all solid gold in all three gold material. You also have the bullet diamond one, so the spaced out diamonds on the larger part of the lock. And then you have this version, which is the half pave. This thinner portion of the bracelet has all pave diamonds on it. And then of course you have the full pave, which is extra beautiful. I had a chance to try that one on. Less of an everyday piece in my opinion, because it's so blingy. I wanted something that was everyday wear, and this was the answer because on this side of the arm, so facing you guys, it looks like I'm just wearing a very edgy, chunky bracelet, which is beautiful. I love that. But facing myself and, you know, as an everyday piece, when I'm also catching myself on the reflections on the mirror um, and also just me looking down, I always see the diamonds and it makes me super happy. <laughs> Uh, it also is a piece that I wear every day. Even when I'm at home and I'm not wearing my rings or my earrings, I'm always able to catch a glimpse of my bracelet the moment I look down. So that alone has been worth it for me. By the way, there's no such thing as white gold or rose gold. Gold is yellow. So in order to make it white, they have to plate it with rhodium. 18 karat gold means that it's 75% yellow gold and then 25% alloy. Essentially with white gold, you are still getting yellow gold. It's just that the plating on the outside is probably rhodium or platinum so that it stays white for a long time and it can wear and tear over time. If you really wear your pieces and you get a lot of wear and tear and scratches on it, chances are you will start seeing it a bit yellowing over time, but that's going to take a long time and you can always take back um, your bracelet to Tiffany to have it re spot and they will replate it, polish it and everything. Of course, they will charge you for it. I was told that it will be around $200, which is not bad considering if you only need to re-spa your bracelet every 10-ish years. As of the time of this video, it is 18,700 Canadian dollars before tax. So after tax, it is just shy of 21K. I know it's a huge, huge investment. It's my most expensive piece to date. Even though I did contemplate getting the bullet diamond at first, I just told myself that for a few thousand more, I get the look of a diamond bangle that I can see, but also the look of a regular bangle on the other side, which I honestly think it's super edgy. That's the reason why I went with the half pave. Um, even though I originally wanted to get the other version because it's a little bit price friendly, but I just went with this one and I totally, totally think that it's 100% worth it and the right decision for me. As you can see, <laughs> uh, this bracelet does move quite a bit on my wrist. And like I mentioned earlier, at the smallest part of my wrist, it is about 12.5 centimeters. On their site, it says that extra small is a wrist size of 12 to 13.3 centimeters. So that's pretty much accurate, I would say. Um, it also depends on your bone structure and just how uh, fleshy your arm is. I have kind of like shorter bones, like my arm arm is quite short and so I don't have the thinnest bone this way but I have a very uh, narrow wrist as you can see so that's why my wrist is so small and because my arm is shorter my arm tends to have more of a round shape as you can see it has more like of the muscle starting quite early on on the wrist and so that's my bone structure and I also don't have a lot of bone sticking out on my wrist right here it's barely even there. For me, in terms of comfort, I find it really comfortable because there's a ton of room to move around my wrist, but also the fact that you just need to get used to it, basically. I wore this to sleep for like three days and I got used to it right away. So there's two sides of the bracelet. You always want to pinch the side that has the, the lines right here. This side, you pinch it, you pinch it and then you pull it and you turn it. That's how you open and close your bracelet. Um, when you put it on, you use your, your wrist as an anchor to anchor the bracelet and you always pinch this side. You always pinch this side to open and close it. Um, essentially, this bracelet is 
an elongated squared oval. Let me remove this bracelet so you can see a comparison. If I put it side by side, you see how the love bracelet is literally a perfect oval. And if I put one on top of the other, you're going to see that the love bracelet is actually wider this way. You see? The sizing is actually very similar, if not almost equal, except that this one, it's like they took the oval, they took the o perfect oval and they squeezed it in a bit more. So it almost looks like a little bit more rectangular. Whereas this one is really almost like a perfect oval. To me, they're both very comfortable. And to me, they both stack well together. With the extra small, yes, it goes very well with the 15 centimeter love. But I tried the small and also through my research, there's no stacking equivalent for the 16 centimeter. It's only if you're a 17, then it stacks well with a small or something like that. It's like, it's like the small and medium lock is sort of the equivalent of the 17 centimeter love. It's sort of, you really have to try it in person. And of course, like I said, it depends on your bone structure and just the way your wrists are built. Sometimes it would be like this. So it's almost like it, it wants to rotate the other way, but it's just that because my flesh is stopping it from doing it. Uh, obviously, it still can rotate all the way <laughs> like i can it won't rotate on its own so that was the uh, deciding factor for me to either go with xs or s because with the s it just does it on its own obviously with the size extra small you are getting a bit less material just like i mentioned on the love bracelet even though you are getting less material it looks better and it feels better and it is more comfortable for your sizing so with this extra small size you are getting about 1.01 .01 carat of diamonds. Uh, I counted that there is a total of 26 diamonds and every size up there is slightly more diamonds and slightly more solid gold. So with a size small you're getting 0 0.07 more carat of diamonds so that's probably around two more extra diamonds etc etc. With the size medium it's 1.2 carat and then large is 1.32 carats. So yes I'm getting the least amount of diamonds and the least amount of solid gold but it fits me and that's what's more important. So I will say if you are kind of in between sizes, I will just say if you're like in between an XS or an S and you can pull off the S, just go with the S. On their initial launch of the lock bracelet, only the bangles were available, but since January, they've expanded the collection to include rings and also earrings and necklaces. There's two rings, two finger ring, and there's one that is a single ring. I actually had the chance to try in the ring, but I wasn't allowed to take a picture at the time because it was too early, it was not released yet, but it's really, really beautiful. And I will say if I were to add another piece from the collection, I would probably add the lock ring. So why did I go with all white gold? Because I knew that it was a piece that was a forever piece. For me, it was an everyday piece. And I also, most importantly, uh, wanted to just match with my wedding set. Yes, I can definitely stack this bracelet with my love bracelet, which is permanently on my right hand as well. But most of the time, I will probably just wear them separately so that I have a bracelet on each side. Unless I have an event to go and I want to wear my Hermes watch on this side, and all the bracelets and jewelry on this side, then I will change it up. And that is also the beauty of this bracelet is that you can easily open it and just switch it. I definitely contemplated between another Cartier Love or Cartier uh, Juste d'un Clou. I feel like I get way more value out of the Tiffany lock bracelet. Anytime you get the diamond versions of the Love or the Juste d'un Clou, the price jumps up quite a bit. Same with the Tiffany, but you get a lot more diamonds with the Tiffany versus the Cartier. After contemplating a bunch of them and never really pulling the trigger until this came along, I just knew that this was this was the next bracelet that I was going to get. Just for reference, even with the extra small size, it weighs about 30 grams, 30 to 31 grams. If you just look at my bracelet from this side, it just looks like I'm wearing a, a diamond bangle. Of course, it's only half of it, but I love that. I love that it gives me a bit of both. This side will stick out a bit more because that's the chunky side of the bracelet. But it still stacks pretty well in my opinion. 
So I think they go really well together. This is how it looks like with my current Apple Watch. As you can see, it does look good together. It's um, definitely doesn't clutch or anything. It looks great. Actually, let me change my face to match the <laughs> to match the Apple strap. But um, um, so yeah, as you can see, it does look good with a Apple Watch. This is my Hermes watch it has a really big bracelet at the moment i think it's like i measured it to be 16 centimeter long so it's quite big but it would stack like this if you were to put them together and that's how it looks like but um this is the reason why i love the fact that this bracelet is easily opened and closed always grab this side never never from here never from here because i am right-handed so my right arm is more muscular this is how it would look like on me i personally think it looks amazing together and i love that it has two tones of gold like if they were loose um it has two tones of gold now so it really kind of you see each of them separately it's not so blended in and i love the that the diamonds really elevate the whole solid gold side it's so pretty if you're really in between size you can definitely size up but if you're like me and you can still turn your bracelets with ease then definitely the smaller size would be your size. So just to show you, even on my bigger arm, no brainer for me to just go with um, the extra small because even with my larger arm, I can still turn both of these bracelets. Otherwise, I feel like they both stack quite well together. The excess love and the excess lock, they definitely stack well together. I don't think that they really overlap each other. Yeah, they don't really do it at all. So I feel like this is definitely a, a good stacking option if you're considering this bracelet and if your size is extra small. I think it's a little bit more tricky when your love bracelet is 16 or 17 because the equivalent of the lock bracelet is sort of in between S and medium. So I do wear the lock bracelet all the time, but I don't shower with it. I don't know if it's really that bad to shower with it, but I was told to avoid going in the pool and all those things uh, with the lock bracelet. I almost wonder if it's because you don't want uh, all that water to go into um, the locking mechanism since it is still a swivel and it does need a little bit of the oiling for the swivel to work properly and to work smoothly you can bring it back to the tiffany store and they will oil it for you maybe once a year or every five six months depending on how uh, you feel like the lock is um, but i wonder if that's the reason why my essay told me to just remove it before i shower and it's not really an inconvenience anyway it's so easy to remove it by the way you don't have to wear the diamond side on facing you you can definitely wear it on this side as well just to show you you can definitely still wear the diamond side facing you or facing the outside it will just look like this um and then the side that faces you will just look like a more plain bracelet like a kind of like a more substantial plain bracelet so you can definitely wear it both ways there's no right or wrong in summary what are the pros and cons it's a popular design it's getting more and more popular it's getting so big in some countries and for a good reason because it is a great design it's a very good solid bracelet you're getting the whole backing branding from tiffany the diamonds are not super small they are there you really see them and the, with this lighting it's just you know led lighting but honestly under the sun inside the store and whenever you catch a glimpse of your reflection with it it's just stunning it's just the diamonds are so beautiful actually i'm just gonna tell you because it doesn't say on their website but it does say on the evaluation report what diamonds you get for mine right 1.01 carat total weight g to j color internally flawless to si1 clarity it's super easy to remove super easy to wear either way so this way or that way you get the very elegant super sparkly and refined look on one side it's not too thin but it's not too big either like it's not in your face but you also get the very edgy 
uh, a more substantial bangle look on the other side and of course when you look at it from the profile then you see both i think you get a lot of value when compared to the other popular brands i also love that it looks modern and that it feels substantial so um, I mean, you can see it on my arm, right? I only have the bracelet. Of course, my arms are relatively small. Uh, therefore, any bracelet will look kind of big on me. Like any chunkier bracelet will look kind of big. But it is still substantial in real life. I was told to not shower with it. So that may be a con for you. I don't mind it because I've gotten used to it. So I just remove it every time I shower. You've got the top surface. You've got the side here and you've got the bottom surface depending on how you stack with other things or if you just like constantly are banging your hands on on things then it can get pretty scratched up of course mine being just a few weeks old is totally fine like i do see very minor scratches which is still looks very shiny i don't see how it would become totally <laughs> beat up uh, but it could definitely if you have more things to stack with and because this is not my dominant hand i tend to use less of this hand therefore i get less wear and tear too you do have to get used to the shape a little bit just because you have the chunkier bit which is tighter i would say compared to the more narrow side right if do you see what i mean like because it's more of like an elongated, squeezed in oval shape. Um, you know, for the first few days, you will see that your hands, your flesh around your arm does get kind of like that mark from mostly the chunkier part of the bracelet, but you just get used to it, just like this one also did. Uh, always leave like that little dot on my arm. You just get used to it. It takes a few days. Another con is that the sizing is not always gonna be compatible depending on what size your wrist is. For me, it works out, but for you, it may not. Like if you're in between sizing, um, that's maybe one of the biggest con of this bracelet because I tried the extra small, I tried the small, I tried the medium just because they didn't have an extra small or a small in the in the rose gold so I had to try the medium for the look and it was huge. Each size up was a huge difference which is unfortunate if you're really in between size so yeah sizing may not be compatible for everyone. It's still very pricey at the end of the day right that's another con because you're buying into the brand not just the material of course um, but you know with the backing of the brand you do get sort of like more aftercare like i can walk into any tiffany store any day there's tiffany stores all around the world and so i can get my warranty and aftercare anytime anywhere in terms of longevity for the style that's something that we don't know because it is completely brand new um it's very popular of course but uh, apparently Tiffany style jewelry also always gets discontinued after a while whether this will be a classic piece or whether it will just end up in the resale market for a lot less we don't know a lot about it yet I mean I have seen a couple on fashion fall already so if those fit you then good for you last but not least not everyone will be a fan of the lock design because it is a bit novel i suppose depending on your bone structure and just your overall aesthetic it may not be for you let me know if you're eyeing the lock bracelet as well and if you are let me know which one you're contemplating also let me know what size you are and if you're stacking it with another bracelet perhaps it's good to share the knowledge because i know a lot of people are looking for information and it's hard to find because it's so new and so yeah i think it would be helpful to continue that conversation on the comment section and let me know what you think of it for me because oh I mean, I love it, so it doesn't matter. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, don't forget to check out Ideal. They are amazing, amazing jewelry. Like I said, earrings, necklaces, I love them more dainty unless they're costumes. So check them out. I'll have everything linked down below. Again, my name is Amy. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I also host a weekly live stream and you can get the ultimate experience by becoming a member. So do also check out my membership where you get behind the scenes unboxings and story times as well. So thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.